Yeah, g'day uh, Anthony here, Central Gippsland I am uh, in today, uh, near the Holy Plains State Park. This area was really hard hit by bushfires back in um, early 2019. So I'm just getting eaten alive by mosquitoes. Um, what I'm here for is that we're doing some, some koala counts. And um, I'm just showing you some of the devastation that happened here about 18 months ago. So uh, this is also um, it's an appeal to help us uh, keep this koala work going. We're about the only group in Victoria um, are monitoring uh, koala populations at the moment. And the Streslecki koala is the most important koala in Victoria and South Australia because it uh, still has the, it's the original gene pool. All the other animals koalas in Victoria are the results of translocations and they lack the genetic diversity that this Streslecki's animals has. But um, I'm right in the middle of this heavily burnt out area which was like I said burnt out about 18 months ago. We go to coordinates on a, um, on a, on a contour map. I'm using the Vic Roads book today. We walk into sites at every um, 500 meters or if it, if it matches a grid so this is just a walk through so what we do so is we use a GPS and I don't know if you can read that but it says 47 meters to a site that we're going to survey so I go through this bush here so this would have been absolutely Devastated. I mean, we're talking about this uh, range of banks here there that have been knocked out. Um, the, the vegetation's just starting to come back. But what I'm going to take you to this spot is inside all this devastation, we managed to find, um, or I managed to find, this particular tree here, which I think is a yurchuk. It's hard to tell because of the, um, the damage wrought by the fires. I was just, um, this was inside our little 20 metre zone where we do the surveys and found a heap of koala scats. I mean this one has really been hammered, I mean I'd say the koala must be here and must concentrate on this tree. That's, the scats look about a week or two old maybe, um, so maybe it's moved on. But it was the only tree in this spot that we saw that had any activity of koalas. And I've done about 15 sites today, all negative. So this was the first one we've found. So it's good the animals have survived, but they, they must have absolutely been hammered in the fires. Um, Streslecki Rangers, uh, the studies that have been previously done, we've been involved with, give a koala in good bush, uh, a koala every 11 hectares. That's in good bush. Now whether or not the levels of koala activity at this site were as high as that, who knows, but I've found um, two positive sites in in about two weeks in this spot, so the numbers are bound to be really low. And But look, they haven't been knocked out, but there's a chance that they'll hang in there and in another 20 years there might be quite a good population. You see what the fire's done, uh, knocked out the under, every bit of almost all the ground cover. So it's just 18 months into recovery. So what we're asking is people can uh, donate any money. We've got enough funding to go um, for 300, sur uh, sorry, 200 surveys, where what we're trying to do is aim for about 300 surveys this year. Then we want to get a, um, an expert to go through the data and then we can get a better picture of the distribution and the um, potential population size. But this is a lot of scat, so this, this koala is definitely concentrating on this tree. Um, I'll just flick it around. So yeah, my name's Anthony, so I've been involved with koala work down here for some time. Um, a couple of years ago, the state government announced the, um, the Bratungalung Forest Reserve. Uh, so I've been involved with, with that little campaign which has taken 20 years of work to actually bring about with the uh, assistance of people such as Susie Zent from Friends of Gippsland Bush, Bush and Anne Westwood. 
So yeah, look, if you can chuck in any money um, to help us keep up with this work, like I said, we're the only people doing these koala surveys. The animals, the only, um, the koala is, this particular population is the most important koala population left in southern Australia. And if it goes, where uh, the species as a, as a whole across uh, southern Australia will be in, uh, will have a lot of problems. Thank you. See ya.